Hello, my peepers. Welcome to Shalene's Creativity Room. It is Thursday, June 23rd. What's going on today? It is the last day of school for my grandsons. It's unreal. Okay, we don't have any birthdays today. We don't have any for the rest of the week. So let's see happy wisdom quote. Wisdom quote, if you don't love yourself, who will? By Naval Ravikant. If you don't love yourself, who will? Okay. Word of the day. Word, word, word of the day. Word, 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 word of the day. And today's word is abstruse. Abstruse. A B S T R U S E. Abstruse. It's an adjective meaning hard to understand or obscure. There's that. Now, um, yeah, that's it for today on in that. Thursday. I did not watch any TV yesterday. I haven't been watching TV. Okay. So, weather. Oh my God, yesterday it got up to 93 and said that the heat index was 103. What? Breaking news. Hold on. says 1,000 dead thousands more displaced amid devastating quake where at I know it's not around here at least it didn't look like it Hold on, because you know I gotta watch this. See who. Afghanistan. Wow, pray for those people. Okay, today is a high of 79. Sunshine to start, then a few afternoon clouds, slight chance of a rain shower. Humidity 65%. Yeah, we're still going to need the air conditioner on. Today. Okay. Let's see. Is that sunny for most? It's just partly cloudy. Let's go with sunny because, yeah, optimist. Okay. Do -do -do, do -do -do. Hmm. Sunny. Huh. 
then I got the hiccups. I gotta do dishes when I'm done here because my kitchen's a mess and right now it's 67. Oh no, it says 61. I need to clean up in the kitchen because it was too hot yesterday. I didn't even cook dinner. We got subs to take out. We got subs from the local place. Then we found out that the guy that owns the sub place, his wife had fallen the other day, hit her head, had brain damage, and she passed away on Friday. I'm like, are you kidding me? And they're all, she was only 40. Scott and Dylan know him. I don't know if they've ever met her, but they could have at the gas station, you know. Okay, National Day. Oh, National Pink Day. So if you like pink, wear it today. I, got, I have pink. If I remember, I'll have to wear pink. Okay, babysat. Six o'clock till 8.45 when they get on the bus. And then I will have them again at noon. Okay. Let's see. I got to take pictures. So yesterday I made my morning video. And today is my morning video. And today will be my live floss tube. So look for that. I did not cross stitch yesterday. I did diamond paint for a little bit. I hid my kitten was very needy and I have to call the vet today because he um he's got congestion again. <sighs> Poor guy. So I plan on cross stitching all day today. I didn't write down what videos I've been watching because they've all been um, like reading planners and things like that. I mean, I should have wrote them down, but I didn't. Okay, reading planner. So last night before I went to bed, I finished Murder at Sunrise Lake. It's the first book of a series by Christine Feehan. The second book comes out on Tuesday, right? Yep, Tuesday. And so I'm starting that today, and I'll probably, maybe I'll read, I think I'll read some of it, and then I'll switch it to um, Texas Speech. I'm not sure yet. But yeah, the book was good. Um, the suspect that I had who was the murderer, I was right about. And... So, yeah, the next book to read is called, hold on, it's the second book to it. 
um, right on the river. And the characters in this, this series, I really like. They're a bunch of friends and the main person owns a resort in the Sierras. And the guy that she likes is like, I think like a handyman type. He, he puts out fires and they happen at the resort. And um, I guess they've always liked each other. And then they have a whole group of friends who live in the town. And they're all really close except they've all kind of kept secrets of their past from each other. So they're starting to find out who they are, and yeah, it's been a really, really good, the first book was really good, so I can't wait to start the second book. Okay, so let's see, what did we do yesterday? Oh, I know what happened, I don't have... I forgot to put this back on, so I couldn't find where I was. Um, yeah, so let's see. I had my doctor's appointment. I lost 20 pounds. I read. Did I go? I had my Zoom. I diamond painted. I did not do anything else. Diamond paint and read. That was it. That was it. It was too hot to do anything else. I'm like, forget it. I'm not. I'm not cleaning. So this morning, since it's 61 out, it still it feels very. Um, it's still very stuffy in the house. But I need to get the dishes done. Okay, I need... Here we go. Thursday. So that one's used up. Okay. Now on to... This... Yeah, I'm tired. Don't mind me. Okay, let's do today. You've got mail. Today. And yes, I know it's not on straight. We do that. decorate. I am going to cross stitch today. And I'm going to read. Put that there. And then decorate up. Do, 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 do. I don't know if I'll watch any TV today. I think that's going to be tomorrow. Oh, here we go. Important. This I do need also. Important. Okay, we have flowers. We haven't used the flowers in here. And since today's pink day, let's use some pink flowers. So 
So the book I just read is about, what's her name? Oh my gosh. I forget the main character's name already. And I can see it. Anyways. She, since she was a little girl, she would dream about a kill, a killing that's going to happen. It hasn't happened yet, but it's going to. And she's either have to be close to the serial killer. Or she touched him somewhere, like in a coffee shop or something. So it's either somebody she knows or she touched him. And the dreams had been going on since, like I, since she was like four. And now they're happening again. So that's where this starts off. She's an adult now. Okay, I need to do dishes. Laundry. Um, read. Cross stitch. Zooms. Oh, live. Floss tube. I did clean the bathroom already. Let's put that down. Bathroom. But I did just do it. Um, oh, yeah. They have one that says don't forget. Oh, I got a couple things I can't forget. Write, note. Remember. It's the other one I need. Remember. Okay. Remember. Okay, so important call vet cross stitch um supernatural remember kids get off bus at noon. Yeah, Zoomer's congested. I need to call the vet. Um, book is. What did I say it was? Something red. Red on the river. Red on the river. Christine Feehan. Okay. Now, the other thing that I changed is, where is it? This. So, instead of writing in it every day like I used to, I'm writing in here 
what I need to watch for the week. And then there'll be two walkers because there's another one on tonight. So, um, like, yeah, so Monday I will write down what I need to watch for the week. And then here are the next books I want to read and in what order. So that's how I'm going to start using this. Because this way I have General Hospital written down and I have not watched this week's. So I, I can write the dates in. That was Friday's. And then last week's Walker and tonight is the season finale. I did watch the Hallmark movie. So, um, yeah, and then I wrote book because I was using this as Mondays, but that's how I'm going to do this. So I'll have one page of what I need to watch on TV, and then I'll have one page of the next set of books I need to read. So that's how I'm using this. Okay. So I'll put this in. And there we go. And we are set for today. So yeah, when I get done here, I need to go do up dishes. Then I can have breakfast. Today is the last day of school for the boys. And I uh, still in last night. Are the boys coming here this summer? Am I going to your place? Is there certain days I'm going to your place? And he said he's bringing them here. So I told the boys do not turn the TV on because I can sleep in. They can go back to sleep or they can play on their tablets with the sound turned way down. Um, yeah, so I can sleep in, and I don't have to take, see, I would take a bag that had food in it. I took a bag that had my Kindle, my tablet, my planner, the little um, pencil pouch, and there was usually something else in there. Then I had another bag with, like, all my cross-stitching. So I was loaded up just to go to their house, where when they come here, they just come here. They don't bring anything with them, unless maybe they bring a favorite toy. So this works out so much better. I am so glad that he said that. And I've been making a list of September. The new planners come out. What do I really want? So, I'm going to buy a classic vertical for my reading, a classic dashboard for my project planner, and a classic notebook to have the extra papers. And I will probably still use this or the classic notebook to do um, this, the plan, because I'm still going to do the plan. I do have a big happy planner that was from like 2018 or 2019. I'm going to renumber that. That will be my catch-all. So that will have the birthdays at the very top. It will have, um, and then I'll separate that. It will have the weather, the wisdom quote, and the word of the day. So everything's going to go on that big. So yeah, it'll be good. That's what I'm doing for next year. I've already decided, you know, I'll, I'm constantly changing my mind, but I was going to use the mini dashboard I have for reading, but I don't think, I'm, I want the, cla the classic vertical. But that's it for today, my peepers. I hope you have a great day, and hopefully I see you in tonight's live stream it's floss tube number 61 
I do have quite a few whips to show you and a finish. Yes, look out for that. I will talk to you all later. Love you guys. Bye-bye.